Welcome to what the function on XLOOKUP. I would use XLOOKUP for looking up data and getting the matching values. You might think XLOOKUP has got something to do with finding mutants. Well, it's not. It is one of those new Excel functions that is introduced as part of Office 365 that can help you write better, shorter formulas to solve business questions about data lookup. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate what XLOOKUP really does and how to use it better. So here we have some employee data and you would like to do some simple lookup activities. I got two example tabs, one with just data in Excel cells and another with data in tabular format. Let's first look at what XLOOKUP really does. You might already know about the VLOOKUP function. It is after all one of the, it is actually the most popular Excel function that is out there. So chances are if you have been working with Excel, you already know what VLOOKUP is. VLOOKUP is for looking up an item and returning a matching value. Let's say I want to know what is the salary of Fiona. I could use VLOOKUP and then give this range as input. Say that I want to look up Fiona and then I want to return the salary, which happens to be the sixth column. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you would have to specify that. What XLOOKUP really does is it solves some of these problems with VLOOKUP, which is to knowing which column you want, the number of the column, as well as having a limitation of being able to look up only on the leftmost column. So you can look up the name and get the salary, but if you want to look up salary and get the name, you would end up using index match. So XLOOKUP solves these problems with a simple function. Here is my name that I want to look up, Fiona. And this is the XLOOKUP formula. So we want to look up the value in K3. You can point to yourself. You can alternatively type the value here. And the value, we want to find it in this range of cell, B4 to B53. So I want you to find the name Fiona in this column B. And I want you to return the corresponding value from column G. So that's it. That's what XLOOKUP does. XLOOKUP does have a extra parameter, which is to provide what to do if there is a, an error. Okay. So you could say a message like no such person. This will be very useful because if Fiona's salary is there, it will give you that information. But if you try to look up uh, maybe another name like uh, uh, Fatima, it will give you an error saying no such person. So that's what XLOOKUP does. XLOOKUP also works in the reverse way. So for example, you could look up on a column like a date of birth and return the name. All you have to do is type the date of birth and then you can say XLOOKUP that date of birth in K7 in column E and return the value from column B. Okay, so this is going to give me the name of the person. Another similar formula, look up the date of birth in column E and then return the salary from column G. Notice that these two X to X lookup formulas do not have the if not found parameter provided. So if I give a date of birth that doesn't exist in the data, for example, 1980, I will get an error just like any other function. So I will get hash and error indicating that uh, there is nothing found. All right. So this is uh, how the X lookup behaves. The best thing with XLOOKUP function is it becomes so much easier to use when you are working with tabular data. With the normal data, you have to still remember where your data is. So you have to say B4, B53, G4, G53, and you want to make these absolute references, etc. With the table format, you can just have data in a table, give it a name. So I have given my table a name called staff, and now I can use table formulas Instead of saying range addresses, I will simply say find the value C5 in the staff table name column and get me the staff salary. This becomes really easy. Let's see some advanced scenarios with XLOOKUP. You can use XLOOKUP to do a greater than condition. Sorry, I meant to say um, this was actually doing less than, but we can also do greater than condition. So the way it works is it will look up the salary that is immediately above 90,000. So there might be multiple people that are greater than 90,000. Uh, as you could see all of these people, but it will give you the smallest such person. So in this case, we will expect the name to be Orville. I was actually doing the less than thing. So here we have look up that 90,000 number in salary column, get me the name. And then the optional parameter, if not found, we don't want to worry about that. And the match mode 
if you don't specify it will always give you an exact match but uh, in this case what we want to do is exact match or next larger item so i will give it this as one and what this will do is it will look up 90000 if it can find 90000 fine and good otherwise it will go and get me the person who has salary above 90000 in all of the data and it will give me the row person's name as orville as we expect so this is really beautiful right it it kind of helps you get to the closest possible data you could use it for the reverse also uh, salary less than and then i'll write the formula here x lookup now here is another beautiful thing when you write x lookup it is easy to write you just have to say xl and then tab in a way it kind of fits into excel because you're just saying excel tab right i want to look up 90000 in the staff salary table column and then i want the staff name but when you are looking up i want you to just get me exact match or next smaller item so this will be the opposite of what we are doing there which is greater than and it will give you a different name like eddie i'm just going to change my filter condition here we can uh, see what that name is so below 90,000, there are a lot of people here um, and then i'm just uh, going to just sort this largest to smallest so we can see that eddie's name is right up there he is the closest she's the closest person to uh, the 90,000 limit that we have set for ourselves. Remember to be able to apply this kind of conditions your data need not be sorted so it can be in any order and it will still work. Here is another use of X, X lookup function which is wildcard lookup. So you can simply say name contains ETT and X lookup can find out such a name. So you would simply put ETT but you need to have is asterisk before and after because it can contain either anything in the beginning and in anything in the after. So ETT but we will add asterisk in the beginning and end. Find it in the staff name and get the correct name because you are just looking up ETT but you want to get the same name again. But this time the match mode becomes two which is wildcard character match. And that will give you letter and you can use the same formula to get their her department and uh, the salary of that person okay this is actually even cooler with text lookup which is you can just put a criteria like i want to look up the name and return their entire row of information you don't have to uh, specify multiple formulas you can write one formula and next lookup will deliver the entire row this works like this i'm just gonna uh, show it to you here x lookup ichabod in the staff name column and return array so when we look up name we were returning salary or date of birth or something instead if i simply say get me the entire table that matches this name and what this will do is it will give you that entire table now while this works it is somewhat annoying in the sense that both the date of birth and start date are treated as numbers and even salary is just treated as numbers so there is no formatting applied when xlookup returns the results it will just return the entire array like this so all you have to do is once the returning is done you just have to apply necessary formatting and it will do its job you might be thinking this is good but i don't want to go sideways i would rather go down like this how do i do that well there is actually another trick that you can apply you can simply say x lookup ichabod in the staff name and get the entire table so this will give you a sideways listing of the data this is actually called spilling so it will spill sideways so before that if you put another excel function like transpose transpose is a function that can take a list of items and change the orientation of them so if you if you have items row wise they will become column wise and vice versa and it will give you the data in in a vertical format like this again you would need to apply date formatting there uh, to get the correct presentation of this data and, and then that will that will do its thing so this is in a nutshell what xlookup really is i hope you found this particular video of what the function on xlookup i will see you again in another video with more functions of excel if you have a suggestion for a function for me to cover please leave that in the comments so that i can prepare a video on that thanks so much for watching bye bye